Hi everyone, it's Amanda here. If you joined us for our Grade 12 online lesson this week, we've been covering uh, different parts of electrochemistry. And in the last lesson, we covered um, electrolytic cells in quite a lot of detail. We re recapped again the differences between electrolytic and galvanic cells. We then covered how the drawing of an electrolytic cell looks different to a galvanic cell. And we looked at the two main types of electrolytic cells that you guys need to know. So basically, you need to know the difference between an electrolytic cell uh, when we're just working with a molten substance. And then you also need to know uh, what happens when we work with an aqueous substance. So the difference here is molten is when something is basically melted, whereas aqueous is in the presence of water. So for example, if I draw for you there, beaker, and I'm going to quickly draw the set of, uh, of an electrolytic cell, we always have our battery. In this case, I've just used one cell to show the battery. We've got two electrodes like that. We've got our liquid level. And basically, you've got one of two things. Either that liquid level there is just a molten substance or it's aqueous. Okay, so for example, if we had NaCl, sodium chloride, if we melted that and there would be no water present, it would be molten. But if it was dissolved in water, then it would be an aqueous solution of sodium chloride. In both cases, um, the, the actual equations that you would look up on the table would be different. Why? Because in an aqueous solution, you've actually got water competing um, in that case. Whereas in the molten uh, co uh, case, you don't have that. During our online lesson, we also recapped how to use the table of standard electrode potentials for an electrolytic cell. So I've been explaining using table 4B. Remember, you get two tables, uh, grade 12s. You'll get a table 4A or a 4B. You'll get both. You select one and just cross out the other one just to make it easier for yourself. So if you study with one, Cross the one out when you get into a test or exam so that you don't accidentally use the wrong table. If you can use both and you're happy, then it's fine. But that's just to make sure you don't accidentally use the one that you haven't um, been using regularly during questions um, while you've been preparing for a test or exam. And as mentioned in the online lesson earlier this week, I am going to pop up two questions for you guys to work on. So I'm going to put them on this video Work them out in your own time. Once you've got an answer, go over to our Google Classroom and type in your answers and I will check them all to see that you've done them correctly. And if not, we'll cover them again in the next lesson. Okay, so the first question that you guys can work through is if we have a case where we have a molten KCL um, in a beaker and we've got our two electrodes. Okay, so we've got a setup, something like this. So I'm just going to draw that on the screen. Two electrodes, and over there I've got molten KCl. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell you there. I would like you to tell me um, A, give me the reaction that will occur at the anode. B, give me the reaction that will occur at the cathode. And C, give me the net ionic equation, so the overall equation that you'll find in this entire molten KCL um, electrolytic cell. And then D, tell me what your observations will be. So what will you notice? In other words, don't tell me the equation. Tell me what will you see. Will there be a gas? Will there be a solid formation? Tell me what will actually happen that you can see. Okay, that is question one. Now, question two, I want you to do exactly the same, A, B, C, and D, except I want you to do it with, whoops, just quickly erase that line there. All right, let's try again. Question two, I want you to do exactly the same thing, except we're not going to be working with a molten KCL. We'll be working with an aqueous. So here, be very careful because water is going to be competing. Same setup, right? The questions A to D, 
exactly the same questions except you're working with an aqueous KCL. Okay, that's question two. And I'm going to give you question three as well. Right, so we change colors. And I'm going to draw something there for you on the screen. So I've got a container and I've got a battery. And we're going to connect this battery to two things. On the right hand side, I'm going to put an electrode that's made of nickel. And on the left hand side, I'm going to put a piece of plastic. Okay, and this plastic is coated in graphite. Right, so this is an electrolytic cell, and basically what is happening is electroplating is taking place. So we want to coat that plastic, uh, that piece of plastic over there, we want to coat it with nickel. So we want to plate it with nickel over time. Right, a few questions I've got for you on this. Firstly, A. So let's call the plastic, we're going to call A, and the nickel we're going to call B. So question A is write down the half reaction that occurs at A. B is going to be write down the half reaction that occurs at B. And then C is going to be to write down the net ionic equation. So that's overall in this entire cell. So I hope this all made sense to you guys. If you are following our videos online, remember you can follow us either on Facebook or you can follow us on YouTube. And uh, you can just search for Amanda Owen Online Education on either Facebook or YouTube. And we will be sharing videos every week. And all the videos that we share cover everything we've, we've done in, in the previous week during our online lessons. And it is all based on the South African curriculum. If, however, you are part of our online school and you are following us online, um, then please watch the videos as well. If you have got questions, pop over to our Google Classroom, add your questions there. I will reply to them there. If you'd like to find out more about our online lessons, you're welcome to visit our website. And I'll give you the web address. It's www.amandaowenonline.co.za. And there you'll be able to find out more information about our lessons, how you can join, if you'd like to charge us for one lesson as well. Or otherwise, pop us um, an email if you've got any questions. Okay, then I'll see you guys all again next week.